day 1092 it's 7:30 just got off my warriors of god call it was a long call uh i was supposed to go over something and instead just uh talked about something completely different um was just talking about um the greatness that god has put in warriors i was talking to someone and and he was saying that warriors of god these are like you guys are like the navy seals of believers and i was like amen like amen like what a, what a compliment and and you know navy seals are, are the most badass people in the military and they go through intense training to get to that level and you know it's just like warriors of god we're going through intense training you know we do 28 or 30 live calls a month you know we we do a bible study at 6 a.m for an hour we do two hour calls on tuesday nights we do hour calls on thursday nights like we've got battle calendars we're taking action every day like we're pursuing the lord it's like yeah we are the navy seals of of believers and we're just getting started this is just the beginning like we're baby seals not navy seals um but one day we will be the navy seals but right now we're the baby seals and this ain't nothing yet and so it was just a, a conversation where god just gave me inspiration i was just speaking life and power like almost for for 45 minutes straight i was like where is this coming from and it just kept flowing and going and and i was just like wow um and it was powerful and uh, it reminded me i had a dream last night really crazy dream um that that one of my ex-girlfriends was married and she was living in um my grandparents old house like where I partially grew, grew up and they lived on this big house on the, with a bunch of acres of land. And uh, I was supposed to meet her that night and uh, down the street and like she didn't show up, but I had a key to the house. So I went to the house and I unlocked the door because I had a key from when I used to live there. I guess the locks didn't change. And I walk in and the house is dark and then I walk in the room and she's like laying in bed with him. And I like leave and go to the other room and they wake up and she sees that I'm there. And so she's in the bathroom, like getting ready to, to come spend time with me. And, um, I'm like hiding in one of the rooms and he comes in the rooms and, and sees me there. And I'm like, Oh, I'm just here to get a couple things or, or something like that. Um, which was not true. I was there to like sleep with her. And, and it was just like, man, it was just such a, a, a weird dream. And then, um, <coughs> her and I go downstairs and then we run out, like we run out the back door and we're gonna leave and and we're like running through the field and uh we look up we look up in the window and we see him there and he sees us running away and he points at us and he starts running towards us he jumps off the balcony and starts running towards us and we can't run it's like we're running in quicksand and he's sprinting and we can't get anywhere and we start screaming like help 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 because we know he's gonna like kill us or or kill me and um he gets to us and he picks up a rock He's going to stone me. He's going to throw a rock at my head and kill me. And I'm like, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. And I look into his eyes and I just see like so much pain, like so much pain. Like, yeah, he's angry, but he's hurt above all things. And then God said to me, Satan is the great defiler. And then I woke up and I woke up and I was like, Whoa. just felt so much shame, like, just like what in the world was i doing why would i even consider doing something like that what was i thinking like it was just horrible and and i looked up the word defile and it means to poison to ruin to destroy and it's like it's like spray painting the mona lisa you have a, a masterpiece and you defile it you poison it. it's like peeing on the mona lisa like defilement is disgusting it's 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 not even just destroying something it's defiling it um and i saw in that dream that I was defiling their marriage and I was defiling that man and defiling his wife. And I could see the pain in his eyes, but also like the disgust and the disgust from God. And it was just like, Satan is the great defiler. And, uh, I woke up and I was going to go to the gym and I put my gym clothes on and I was getting ready to walk out the door, had my keys, everything. And I was like, no, don't just, don't just brush over this. Like this is significant. So I sat back down and I just was thinking about it and reading some stuff about defilement and, and all this stuff. And it was just like, wow. And it's crazy because my last relationship, I was in a relationship with a married woman and they were, you know, separated, um, kind of, uh, when I met, like I knew that I was not doing something good, but I was into the whole follow your heart, do whatever feels good. And, you know, I would 
channel and talk to demons and they would say, oh no, this is a good thing. This relationship is great. Just keep going. Just keep persisting. Keep doing this. Little did I know that I was talking to demons and that I was in sin and in adultery and, and I was defiling their marriage and defiling her and defiling him and defiling their family. And and so I just woke up today with so much conviction and, and guilt and regret and shame um, of like, man, like I actually did that. Um, and yeah, that was rough. That was rough. And so, um, but yeah, God showed me Satan is the great defiler. And, you know, we are God's creation and he wants to defile us any way that we can, uh, or any way that he can. He wants to defile us. He wants to take God's masterpiece and defile it. He wants to take the Mona Lisa and pee on it, rub feces on it, spray paint it, rub dirt on it, like everything. He just wants to defile it because he hates it. And um, so, yeah, that was really, really intense. And I shared that in the group and it made a big impact um, on them. And so I, I still don't know exactly what God is showing me. Um, you know, I look at, <laughs> if there's a married woman now, I'm like, get, get away from me. I have no interest, no desire, no anything. It's just like, get away from me, get away from me. Like I've learned my lesson. I will never, ever, uh, you know, just, I'll never be that person again. Um, and so that was, yeah, that was intense, but it just showed like, man, that's, that's crazy. And it's intense and the devil's disgusting and evil and horrible and he just wants to destroy, like steal, kill, and destroy everything that he possibly can. And so I still need to just keep praying and asking God for um, wisdom and discernment and clarity. Like, Lord, like, what are you showing me in that? Um, in this defilement, like that's a word I, I never really use or never even think about. But Satan is a great defiler. And I look up that word and it means to like poison, to ruin, to destroy. Um, yeah. So that was intense. Uh, and then I got on the Warriors of God call and just spoke a bunch of fire and it was amazing. So uh, yeah, very, <laughs> very polar opposite morning. Waking up in defilement and then speaking into greatness. Um, so yeah. It's only 7.30 in the morning and it's already been a crazy journey. So I know God's got some more amazing stuff planned. But yeah, that was intense. Intense morning call, intense dream, intense realization. Um, yeah. 